May is Mental Health Awareness Month, and over the past few weeks, Knox County Mayor Glenn Jacobs has been sharing ideas on how to help those we love who we suspect may be struggling. Here's Mayor Jacobs. We've talked about changing the way we think about mental illness, how mental illness impacts children, and how to screen for mental health. Today, let's dive a little deeper into what crisis services are available in this area. A mental health crisis is any situation in which a person's behavior puts them at risk of hurting themselves or others and or prevents them from being able to care for themselves or function in a healthy manner. Individuals with diagnosed mental illnesses are at a greater risk of experiencing crises. Signs of a mental health crisis are very easy to miss. They can show up in a variety of ways and each person responds to these symptoms differently. There is no one indicator that a person might be experiencing a mental health emergency. Because of this, friends and family are often caught off guard when a mental health crisis occurs. When determining whether you or a loved one is experiencing a mental health issue or crisis, look for symptoms including a sudden decline in academic or professional performance, extreme or ongoing aggression, social withdrawal, dramatic change in sleeping or eating habits, personal hygiene, energy levels, and ability to concentrate. According to the National Alliance on Mental Illness, being prepared in advance for a mental health crisis of your own or someone you love and sharing that plan with others is one of the best ways to help prevent or avoid a crisis situation. The more the family and loved ones can work together to identify and understand what contributes to a crisis and what strategies helped, the more prepared you will be for a future crisis. It's very important, especially during times like this, to find ways to work together and show support and care for those we love by ensuring they are aware of and connected to crisis resources should they need them. Crisis service can help, typically provided by nonprofit facilities staffed with volunteers trained to provide mental health services and emotional support. These services can be a key component of mental health care and can be critical in assessing risks and reducing stress for those who contact them. To put it simply, talking about your own mental health can be difficult, especially if you feel shame about not being in a good place. Crisis services exist so that someone who's struggling but isn't ready to talk openly with family or close friends can reach out and honestly for support, guidance, and resources. In Knox County, Helen Ross McDam provides crisis services for both children and adults. Other free 24-hour crisis services include the National Suicide Prevention Lifeline, which is available at 1-800-TALK, the Tennessee Statewide Crisis Line, available at 855-CRISIS-1, and the Crisis Text Line, which provides confidential support from a trained crisis counselor when you text TN to 741-741. You can also visit the Tennessee Suicide Prevention Network's I Need Help Now page to find more information about these and other available resources. Adults in the U.S. with mental illness die on average 25 years earlier than others. So it is important to address mental health emergencies just as you would any other health crisis. And please remember that while crisis services can be extremely helpful initially, recovery can be a process that requires ongoing care, treatment, and support.